Hey everyone, welcome to another educational video. The agenda of today is to understand is Java passed by value or passed by reference? Well, Java is passed by value, that's a straight answer. But it's not that simple. Because when we deal with non primitives and strings, Java passed references as a value. Isn't it confusing? Let's jump to the computer screen to understand it more clearly. Okay, now uh, we will try to understand this concept in various different ways. So if interviewer may ask questions in a different ways or in a different scenarios, you can tackle them very efficiently. So we will start it from creating a public static void main method. Inside this method, first of all, I am going to take an integer. And after that, just simple print it out. Apart from main method, we are going to create another method that should be public, static, void, and maybe change value or whatever you want. I am suppose that this method is taking integer as a parameter. And I am going to update the value of this integer by b is equal to b plus 10. Since the method is void, we cannot return any anything. Why we make it static? Because we are going to call it inside the main method and main method is static. The static method only calls the static method. So before printing the value of a, we are just going to call this method. Since we are not returning any kind of value from this method, the value of a should be 10 even after calling this method. So to confirm this, let's start the method main. So as you see, we have a value 10 here. It means the value we have passed in a change value method is just passed by value. If it was passed by reference, the value a should be 20 because we are updating the value here. But interviewer may ask a different question to you. He can say, write a string builder and assign it some value. Let's say, subscribe. And create a different method which update the value of the string builder. Public static void change value and this time this method is taking string builder as a parameter now what we are doing is we are just updating this value same as we did in our previous method i'm going to append my channel name Again, this method is void and static. We are just going to call it after the string builder. Now let's print the string builder as well. Now same like integer, will this string builder behave? Let's check this out. Look, the string builder is subscribe dev with Abu Bakr. We only print it inside the main method. It means the value pass here is not passed by value. Reference pass here. But how? Since we claim that Java is passed by value, so why Java pass reference here? Let's try to understand this concept with the help of animations. As we know in Java, we have two different kinds of memories, stack memory and heap memory. When we run the application, the method push into the call stack and start pushing variables inside the stack memory. To understand the call stack, there is already a video in my channel and the link is in the description. Well, for this program, when main method initialize, it start pushing the values inside the stack memory. When we call a method and pass a value as a parameter, the Java takes the value from stack memory and pass copy of that. Now in the change value method, 
new variable push into the stack with value 10. And we are performing some operations on that. Since we are not returning any value from this method, the value of B will pop out and the A will remain 10. But for the string builder, there's a different case. Initially, as we discussed earlier, main method will push variable value inside the stack. But this time, inside the stack, we don't have exact string. Instead, we have address of heap memory and the actual value is stored in the heap memory. This is because in Java, objects and non-primitive values are stored inside the heap memory. And the address of that value is inside the stack against the variable name. So now, when our change value method call this time, the value we are passing is not the actual value. It is the address of heap memory. And when we update on that address, the actual value changes. So it means the Java is passed by value. And for objects and non-primitives, we get the address as a value. Okay, so as we discussed previously, that in Java, strings and objects, we have a reference in stack memory. And when we pass values inside the method, we actually passing the address of heap memory. So that's why the value, actual value is changed. Let's try to do it with string. Will it work similar or the behavior is changed? So for that, I'm creating a string, hmm, maybe ABC or whatever. And I'm passing it value testing okay and i'm creating a new method I'm just copying this this time it is only string not a string builder and value is a value is equal to value plus or whatever uh way you you are going to follow it's not my turn now I'm calling change value and passing ABC here. And let me print out this ABC. So will it behave similar like string builder or will it behave differently? Because we claim that string is an object and we claim that object actually passes uh, reference here because we have a reference in the stack memory of the objects. Let's try and check that out. Okay, so uh, as you see, uh, for the string, the value didn't update. It is the actual value testing. But why? Uh, since the string is an object and we claim that uh, object passes the reference, and this time we are failed in our logic. So what is the reason behind it? This, is, this may be a, a third question by an interviewer when he is asking about pass by value or pass by reference. Well, to understand this concept, I have already a video on my YouTube channel that is uh, strings in heap memory. So there is a concept of string pool and also there is a concept of immutability. Uh, so uh, when we update the value of string inside the heap memory, string actually creates a new string. And the, this ABC has the old address and this value have a new address. So that's why the value isn't updated. This is because of immutability. It's not about uh, uh, string is not an object or we are not. We are actually passing reference here. But when we are updating the value, string is creating a new string inside the heap memory. This concept will be more clear if you go and visit the video. I have attached the link in the description and your this answer will be clear as well. Uh, if you want me to explain it a bit more in this video, I will create a part two. Uh, but I hope you will understand the concept in my previous video. That's the third question the interviewer may ask about the pass by value and pass by references. There is one more question that he may ask is, is there any other um, variables or objects that we can say uh, these are immutable? So, well, yeah, uh, apart from string, there are all of the wrapper classes are immutable. We have uh, integer wrapper class. We have uh, boolean wrapper class that that is actually uh, boolean. We have uh, float and all of the uh, primitive types. We have uh, their immutable wrapper classes. 
so yeah this is all about uh, this video i hope you like the video if this is informative and you learned something new please hit the subscribe and uh, share it with your friends i will see you in the next video